I created Ultimate Content Factory for generating OpenAI images in Airtable. It can generate images by prompt with specified size, quality and number of images. It can edit your image by prompts and also by prepared prompt that use some reference as example and generate you new images like this one. And also it can combine your references and your product and create new insane images with your product. Let's check how it works. Let me show you how this factory works. So let's pretend we're gonna sell yoga mats and we need to generate a few content images for our Amazon market. Let's create new product, yoga mat 2. This photo is optional, it's just for you to recognize what I'm selling here. And then we simply jump to photos and here, yeah, we starting with the um, action and what I want to do, I want to actually get, yeah, I just found some yoga mat on Amazon and let's pretend this is our product and we have uh, some competitors and we actually want to copy this graphic design um, from these images and use it in our product. And first of all, uh, let's create this image where some uh, girls standing and have this yoga mat, we have some text here. So we will ask to generate exact uh, the same image but with different girl with our yoga mat and uh, with the same text so we can change it in the prompt whatever yeah so let's go back here we're gonna use edit mode it means that we have some photo and we want to edit it with the, our custom prompt let's copy our image with yoga mat and paste it here in the photo uh, we can link it to the product so uh, in the future we, it will be easier to group these data and see all results for the product uh, and then uh, we can set up own custom prompt or i've already prepared a prompt for this image generation here it is it's like generate new image using reference in our product photo fit uh, young woman blah 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 and so on. This table works like a list of templates and we can simply use it here. We just need to choose the prompt so we don't need to paste it every time. For example, you have a multiple products like that and you want to use the same template for all of them. After that, we can specify a number of images. Uh, let's start with the one. Size, It by default it's auto and auto it means square. Square is fine for Amazon. Quality, quality is medium by auto by default and I want to generate high quality image it will take more tokens to generate but it will be much better and then we have a draft status it's fine and we click in uh, run button and trigger our edit and scenario as you can see we already created a result record this record will contains image and will be linked to the prompt so this way we will have uh, all results shown there because you can change status back to draft every time and generate more images uh, tweak prompt and have all results linking to the same record and it will be simplify the process so let's wait a bit and see what uh, will be generated so open AI generated our image and you can see this uh, it looks like our product the text may be wrong but it because we haven't specified like OZ sport in the prompt if you will specify it open AI will create you uh, right sign yeah because right now it just simply simulating what it sees but when you specify uh, text itself it uh, works uh, perfect with text right now and it will be here as you can see text was generated uh, in the right place yeah that's great let's jump on the next image and for example I have this one for example and I want to simply use the same image as a reference and replace this yoga mat with our yoga mat so let's create new record here we already have a photo we will just copy it and we will choose combine action means that we want to combine one of the photos with another photo and we simply move this photo here and specify some custom prompt uh, like please replace orange yoga mat to our product on big image and in small circle nice again let's uh, change the quality click the button and uh, let's wait a bit for results nice so 
image was generated yeah nothing was changed like text is the same and the mat itself was again changed again the name is missing and it tries to replace name but we can uh, specify in the prompt like uh, that we want to have a sign right here basically that's all let's jump uh, directly to na10 and see how it works inside if you are interested to see more ai agents and ai automations guides please check our community we have a bunch of guides where we show different AI agents and AI automations with the prepared Anything template and also we just launched a new global course where we teach with more than 30 detailed lessons how to build AI tool for your business or launch a new startup. You can find the link in the description of the video. So in Anything uh, we have this setup. Uh, we have a webhook. We trigger this webhook with Airtable button. So when you create in a column with the um, button you can specify action open url and specify your product um, production url uh, as url yeah don't forget to use production instead of test url then we respond quickly to this request with this html and simple JS script and we simply create a new window that always will be opened when you click such button in Airtable then we will specify open AI key here and Airtable app ID that will be used further. So Airtable app ID you can find here in the URL. You will see that it always starts with app. After that we have a get photos note. Here we'll try to find all records that have a status draft. Yeah so you can process multiple photos at once. Yeah for example right now I changed uh, both records to draft status and if I, I will run any of them it will start to process them one by one. After that uh, we set up loop over photos it's simple loop yeah and check if the custom prompt exists so if you specify this custom prompt it will be prioritized and used for image generation otherwise we will get all prompts linked to the record so if you can see here you can specify not only one prompt that but multiple sometimes you can you want to generate multiple images for multiple templates for example and uh, to simplify that you can simply choose multiple prompts run it and instead of one image you will uh, have a three images for three templates yeah so we're trying to find all records where like record id equals uh, id of the record here yeah after that we merge these are um, both paths and trying to loop over prompts so in custom prompt case we will have only one prompt always with uh, prompt templates we may have from one to unlimited number of prompts and here uh, be careful to specify this reset expression because otherwise like nested loop because we have a nested loop here won't work uh, in na10 yeah it's some some trick uh, if you work with na10 loops after that we creating result record right after like this one where we will store result image we will link it to the prompt so if in case you want to check the quality of generated images uh, by prompt you can group here like by prompt and see the quality how it changed from time to time and if you want to change something in your prompt you will change and see that images change too after that we check in if the photo is attached because i haven't show you case but we also can generate images for that we can click generate action specify again custom prompt or link some prompt from the templates and click uh, button and we simply generate image so in case uh, we don't have any photos it means that we are gonna use generate yeah actually I replace it with the if action is generate yeah i replaced this logic with the action so right now if you chose generate action we will generate image if you generate an image we simply trigger this post request it's image generation url and here we specify the model it's always gpt image one we don't want to use Dali. and here we have a multiple parameters it's like prompt size number of images and quality now you can find this data in openai api reference here if you go to api documentation and choose images here yeah you can find that create 
create image and you can find all possible parameters that you can use in this request. So in case of generation image, everything is simple, but if you want to edit image or if you want to combine images, it's much more complex. Uh, so as a first step, we set up array of photos. So we will use URL of photos from Airtable. It provides for each image own URL and we set up array of photos. It might be one photo, it might be two or more photos. After that, we split out them and uh, loop over results. We need to download it photo because to upload it to OpenAI, we need to have uh, it as a binary file. So we loop through them. Again, it's another nested loop. Be careful. We need to specify here again this uh, special JS expression. It always mapped to the same node the, where it is. It's important to use it. After that, we simply get photo by URL, aggregate all of them. Here, we don't need to specify any input field name, but we need to include all binaries because we will use binaries data. And here right now, we have a two options. Actually, everything I'm showing to you right now is uh, within this first option. So this first option is to switch between two nodes this one is editing one image and this one is editing two images why it works like that because when we're trying to send this uh, request to edit image in OpenAI, we need to specify parameter with the binary file data and actually we can't uh, make it dynamic and specify multiple images so for each case for example here we have a one image and we specified one parameter like an then binary file image and data in this case we have a two files and we specified additional um, parameter data one field name so if you want to upload three and more photos you need to prepare this uh, part and add more options in the switch so we prepared special uh, JS expression that uh, check length of like array of binary data that was uploaded like aggregated here and it's just number of photos so if you want to add additional road you simply can paste it like that choose the number oops it's uh, number is equal to uh, three copy this part uh, rename output and then you can copy this uh, URL request. Yeah, just duplicate it and specify here additional parameter like NA10 binary file and data 2. Yeah, because we start with uh, like 0 data, data 1, data 2. Yeah, and it will work for editing three images. Yeah, so you can map it like that. Success map here and voila it will work but right now we have a tool for example here and it uh, will send uh, open a request with again the same parameters prompt size number quality and the uh, like photo itself if you will get some error we'll update uh, photo status yeah here instead of draft you will see that it's error it's a first option the much easiest option that you can use is here it's a code node where we prepared all the same parameters but here it will be much smarter and it will again use your OpenAI api key that's why you need to specify it here otherwise you don't need it actually yeah and it will work with any amount of photos maybe three four ten whatever but uh, you need to keep in mind mind that for some cloud instances or if you have a local hosted uh, instance some server i don't know maybe cloud or maybe your computer it may not work always so we prepared two options for you yeah you can try both of them if you want to use this one you simply need to cut it here and cut it here yeah just place it like that you don't need all these nodes actually to replace everything yeah let's return everything back after that we generated some image or we added images or so one two images and as a result we will always get one or multiple images from OpenAI yeah if you chosen for example here a number of two images it will generate two images so we just get yeah we merge all inputs then we split it out then we again look 
loop. Loop again is nested. Don't forget uh, reset parameter. And we loop through results array of images. We convert it to file using this node. And then we upload file to Airtable. Because we have uh, this file as a binary data, you can simply upload it to Airtable with the uh, default Airtable nodes in any 10 because it will require URL. That's why we use this custom uh, HTTP request to Airtable that let us upload data as binary data. For that, we specify uh, here like app ID again, and we specify ID of the record. A record is result that uh, we created here. And yeah, simply map data and file name from previous node. Nothing special. Also, uh, if you will change email like content type, because by default, OpenAI generate PNG file, but uh, it may generate JPEG file, for example. Don't forget to change it here too. After all images uploaded to the results, we end in this loop. We get in photo because it may have for already updated status as error and then we just check uh, the status and update it to protest or leave it as error if it's already like that basically that's all if you like this video please subscribe to channel and join our community and in the next video we're going to add clean generation to this uh, content factory please tell us if it's a good idea or maybe you want to see something else please comment this video and uh, have a good day bye